Hey guys, I thought I'd go over something today that is pretty common on heat pumps where I live. It's a crankcase heater. We'll go over what it looks like. I, I will show you my general, general use replacement crankcase heater because there's one specific for a particular compressor, but I use one that sort of works for a lot of different compressors. So we'll go over how they work and some of the ways you can wire them in. This is the crankcase heater that I have on my truck. I just used one the other day. Usually I carry two of them, one at the shop and one on the truck. And you can see the ends of it look like panduit straps. What you'll do is you can wrap this around a compressor and more than one time is fine. You actually go around a couple times. See the little picture right here of it on the box or the back. You'll cinch it tight just like you would a panduit strap. There they're here. Then you wire it up. You see you have two hots and your ground. It is a 208-230 crankcase heater. These can be wired in several different ways. We'll go over the different ways you can shut them on and off. Of course you can leave them on constantly. Some of them are wired that way. But there's, a, there's some ways you can wire them so they don't have to be on all the time. This is another common crankcase heater. I figured I'd show this. When you get replacement compressors from Copeland, they'll come with these crankcase heaters. And all you do is you'll hook it together here and it will wrap around the compressor like this. And it's a little bit adjustable with the spring. Holds it on tight. This one just has the two wires. It doesn't have the ground. So I kind of like the one with the ground a little bit better. But this one is the one you usually get when you get a Copeland compressor. Here we have a contactor, like any unit. You have your 230 volts coming in here, leave it on the other side whenever the switch is magnetized on the bottom. When your low voltage pulls your contactor in, 230 volts flows through here. There's a few different ways you can do your crankcase heater. I have my crankcase heater wires here. If you wire it just to the base, like so, you'll have your 230 volts constantly to the crankcase heater. Now. If you have a temperature switch on your discharge line of your compressor, then what you can do is you can have the 230 volts wired in constantly, and then when the compressor turns on, the discharge line will heat up and shut off the crankcase heater, because you don't obviously need it while the unit is running. A second way you can do that is you see you have your two different pole or two different sides to the one pole with the switch on it. This is the one pole with the switch on it here. Keep in mind this works for single pole contactors. And you will have one wire on one side of the switched pole and one wire on the other side. What this will do is it will be on whenever the compressor is not running because if you take 200 and if you uh, take a measurement of voltage across this switch when there is no call for the compressor from the low voltage on the sides you will have 230 volts so the crankcase heater will be on if the unit comes on the switch closes and there is zero volts between these two points and the crankcase heater will be offline so that's just a couple ways you can wire your crankcase heater and here is just the one that I carry. I've had these for a while. I got these from, let's see, I think it was C.C. Dixon, which is now United where I live. So it works really well. It says it's self-regulating crankcase heater. That's fantastic. Regulates its own heat output, will not overheat the oil, must maybe overlap. So obviously one of the issues with some of the compressors is some of the crankcase heaters aren't large enough. This thing is definitely large enough. You can wrap it around a compressor, you know, two or three times if you have to. So it works out awful well. That's why I carry it. And they've come in handy because a lot of times crankcase heaters will ground. You have to remove them. So it's nice to have something on the truck. It's easy to install and works in a lot of cases. So that's what I use. It is the CCH-2C 
Uh, it's made by Tyco. Tyco Thermal Controls. Raychem Freeze Guard. So, just an idea if you want to carry a truck stock crankcase here, this is what I use. And there are some applications and some ways you can wire it in.